should make a chore chart for Brandon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all the time we have for today's vlog. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! Getting ready to leave, and we are in such a rush. I've got breakfast to go. Dad's heading out too. Guys, does this look funny? I've been trying on my shirt probably 20 times today. I've changed 10 times. Actually, in the camera, it doesn't look that weird. But there's something about how baggy it is, but it just barely comes to my belt. I'm debating taking it back. Please comment below. Keep this or try and get one. It doesn't look that weird in, in the In the back, it's good because it kind of like tapers down. That's the look. But guys, this but is the this problem is with him being 6'4, and you can't tell because your shirt is showing at the bottom. So looks even longer yeah, than Yeah, I put a shirt underneath it just because it's so short that it literally like, comes to the top Like, raise up your arms, pants. show them. Yeah, see? So, I don't know guys, this comment below. Big and tall problems. Keep I normally it, buy him like, I've tried buying him normal clothes and he wears them like once or twice and then he doesn't wear them again because they're too small. Like, from here up, look how good it looks. This thing is awesome. Well, I love it. Well, just put a box around your waist. <laughs> We've resulted to only buying him tall. Balls. Yeah. I can't and shop unless falls. it's a tall. It's, like kind of tall. it's kind of hard. So he's been like debating. He's literally put the jacket on like 15 times. So dad's getting ready to leave for work. I'm heading out with breakfast. Brexy Doodle's gonna eat part of his breakfast in the car because he didn't eat it earlier today. So we're heading out, people. So we're dropping Mr. Brex off at school. Are you excited for school today? Yeah. I love that you've been wearing your different glasses. Why? Do you wanna show everyone? Can you guys tell he's been wearing different glasses? Turn to the side. These are not his Nike ones. These are the ones that are a little bit blue. You look so handsome. Okay, so you glasses wearers, tell me because he's been wearing his Nike ones, but like they keep like stretching out or something. So they taught us, you know, he has he was taking them off with one hand and that was stretching out one of the arms. He's learned to take them off with two hands, but like they still keep getting stretched out. So I have to take them back to Costco and they're so great there. They just make the little adjustments and then they fit him great again. What are we doing? wrong. These ones don't really tend to do that as much. They fit a little bit tighter. Have you shown them the trick with these ones? Mm -hmm. Do you want to show them the trick? Two hands, remember? Yeah. So these ones you can take off and oh, you can twi like bend the arms way out. They're made for little kids. They're called power flex. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Just waiting in the carpool for his teacher to come. Here she comes. Have a great day. He left his book on the table, so we'll do it next time. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Bye, buddy. We decided to come and stop at the post office. Should we see if there's anything in there? Ooh, there's a couple of keys. There's a couple of keys. Ooh, there's one key, two key, three keys. Ooh, this card's for Mama Bam. I need more key. And another key. Great, let's go see what's in those boxes, should we? Okay. Let's, let's see. There's so many keys. Yeah. Let me see the keys. Okay, wow. We got this one. 17. Can you hold that open for me? Oh, wow. Just, can you hold this open for mom? Yeah. Thank you. Whoa, is it heavy? Okay. Okay, number seven. Let's see what's the number. Lucky number seven. Ooh, look at this fun packaging. And another box. And another box. Locker number 12. That's a big locker for one little tiny envelope. All right, then we have locker number 45, bottom one here. Can you hold that for me? Wow, that's a big one. I'm a teeny one. It's a, it's a teeny one for Hazy. Yeah. Let's go. We stopped at the post office, got a few things from there. We're just grabbing Brex from school. Stay tuned because after the big boys get home from school, I am starting to implement chore chart and behavior chart. Things have gotten a little out of whack, a little out of hand, and we are gonna reel in the reins. So stay tuned because we've gotta whip our kids into shape and our house into shape. I feel like we're just kinda like, January's kind of a weird month. We're gonna figure this out, hopefully get on a better schedule, and you guys will watch me explain it all to the kids. Their eyes are gonna be big as golf balls and they're probably gonna complain, but. <laughs> That's okay, that's part of life. So we've got all the kids home. Ryler has been tasked with writing a book report on James and the Giant Peach. He is beginning to write that right now. He's already starting. He's doing a great job so far. So also what he has to do, here's some suggestions of things he has to do. He has to do a project with it, everybody. He has to do a project to go along with his James and the Giant Peach so he can do like, draw a picture or draw a comic strip, make an apron about the book, make up a song about the book, make a puppet. So what we had thought about was getting like little teeny individual peachos and giving them to the whole class, but now after reading these, I think she wants him to do something a little bit more creative. We can't decide. Here's have a show? You can for sure do a puppet. You wanna do puppets on James and the Giant Peach? Yeah. Okay, well, hey, I'm all about that. My favorite way to do puppets is to use paper sack, to do a paper sack puppet. I think what I'm gonna do is like get straws, like the extendable ones, bend it, and then put like a little character right here, and like dangle it, and I'm gonna make this box with a curtain and a light inside. 
Okay, well, you got a lot of work ahead of you, so let's get going on it. Kids are done with homework. So now, the big unveiling of what I've been wanting to show the kids. So I'm gonna show you guys. I've kind of been feeling like the kids are having a hard time doing chores that they need to do. I decided the other night, Brandon and I had a long talk this weekend. We're like, we need to give our kids assigned chores every night because there's always something that needs to be done here. We have a big family and we need a lot of help. I decided to pull together this chore chart. It has a little bit of a glare because I laminated it. So as you can tell, each child has a column that they're in charge of and then there's every day of the week but Sunday. We won't make them work on Sunday. So I've alternated so each kid will have to do the dishwasher twice that week. Mm -hmm. So Ryler's days for dishwasher are Tuesday and Thursday. Crews are Monday. Monday and Friday. Brexton's dishwasher days are Wednesday and Saturday. And Hazy doesn't have to do the dishwasher. She can just help if she wants to. Do you want to help? Yes. Yeah. You wanna help with the help, dishes? Help with dishes. Yeah, she gets to help with the dishes on one day. But I've given them different assignments. I wanna do bathroom. All right, you guys, so what are some of the assignments that you already saw in your chore charts? So today, I already did pick up room, family room, and clean out car. Every single day, we need to pick up our room. So that has to be something that's done every single day. They have various items that they can do, like each one of them has to clean up the family room one day. Each one of them takes a turn doing the dishes. And then because garbage day is on Friday, one of you, I think Brexton does the garbage is on on the main level. Kruby does garbages on the upstairs and Ryler has to do cat litter. Yes. Every week. These are things that need to be done every week. This is our chore chart that we're gonna live by and we might need to adjust it and change it a little bit if we need to. Another thing that I decided to do was I decided maybe we needed a behavior chart. They're not acting horrible. They just um, sometimes have a hard time keeping on task and that's with multiple things. Just like any kid. Our kids aren't particularly bad. I also created a behavior chart. And this mostly just keeps them on task. So they have three options. No. Three times in a day that they can get a check mark. So each day there's AM, midday, which is basically after school and PM. This is lets them know what they need to do in the AM. Brush teeth, make bed, you know, get ready for school. Basically get ready for school without having to be asked 13 times to put on their shoes, 12 times to ask them to brush their teeth. I mean, normal kid stuff. So I'm just thinking if we can have like a system where maybe they're a they're accountable to themselves. And if they can do these things on their own, that they can have a reward system. I'm in the process of coming up with a few ideas of reward systems. And so I'm thinking we might be doing like stay up late or for redeeming a treat at the gas station, all different sorts of things. There's plenty of ideas that I have. So we are starting this today. Ryler, you were in charge of picking up your room, cleaning up the family room, and cleaning out the car. Done. You did all of them? Mm -hmm. So all your laundry is put in your room? Or put away in the laundry room? Oh, I still need to do that. I forgot to do that. Okay. Yay! Kruby, today you were supposed to pick up your room and guess what? I was doing my client in there just now in the my nail room and I heard Kruby putting the dishwasher away without me even asking and it made me super happy. Thank you so much. And I also tried to clean the counter up. Oh my gosh, you did a great job. Look at, he cleared off the whole counter. It was all messy. Look, you did a great job. Thank you so much. That's my good boy. Okay, and Brexy Doodle, for your thing today, you need to pick up your room and clean the bathroom. Uh, I think that's mostly the downstairs bathroom, and you know what? I did that one today because it was extra dirty. So I gave you kind of a head start on that one. Okay. Thank you, guys. Should I go clean my room? Yeah, will you go pick up your laundry and make sure your bed is kind of made and there's not stuff all over the floor? Yeah. You want to go do that? Okay, Brexy Doodle. There's a shirt on the floor. We need to put that away. Probably just put it right here. No, we need to put it away in the drawer that it belongs in. That's the shirt drawer. Good job. Great job. Perfect. And then you can put that in. Looks like we might have a shoe that needs a home and a shirt that needs to be put away. And a bed that needs to be home. A bed that needs to be home? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, the shoe goes in the closet and the shirt goes in the shirt drawer. I think it's no, it's not dirty. It's not dirty. Good job, Rex. Thanks. Okay, Kirby Doo. It looks like we might have some shoes that are shoved under the bed. Can we make sure those get put away? And then all of those dirty laundry, you guys, those can go in the laundry room because that basket's looking pretty full to me. All right, Kirby. Yeah, he recognized that that basket was full, so we need to take it. Whoa. Dude, seriously, look at those muscles. Oh, here, let me get the light for you. Good job. And I will put that into the washer later. Maybe as you guys get a little older, we can learn about some laundry responsibilities, huh? All right, Kirby. A couple other things is that belt needs to be put away so that when we need it, next time we know right where it is. Do you want to show everyone where that goes? Go in the middle of these two things, then you just grab that. Hook it on there. 
Good job. Do you see anything else on the floor that could maybe be picked up? Because I see maybe a crayon and a car and some goggles. See, then if you keep it clean, so then if we keep it clean, we don't have to have any of those like massive, giant house cleaning days. We just are always keeping up on it. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> okay, next we are gonna do a check on Ryler's room. Let's see how clean, actually this is pretty clean compared to what it was. You're just gonna hang up these few things for me? Yeah. Awesome, thanks bud. Yeah. Oh. It's looking pretty good. Oh, You're even putting away your laundry? All right, guys, thank you so much for obeying. This one's Brexy's. Whoa. Socks. Blogger life. Brexy, these are yours. Thanks. Wait, what's me? Okay, this is going really well, you guys. This is going a hundred times better than I could have expected. They knew that they had some responsibilities they had to take care of today, and they started doing them while I was working. I was so grateful. Now that they're getting stuff done, I get the opportunity to just make dinner. They're doing chores. This is already off to a really good start. Right now, so I would definitely call that a business. So I started a business, B-U-S. So guys, dad's helping right guy. He wrote out the rough draft. It's four pages long. Guys, he just read this to me. Maybe best book report I've ever heard in my life. Like, thorough. Detail parts from the whole book start to finish. I am so impressed with Rye Guy and his book report. And um, then Rye Guy, look at this e nice handwriting. He's doing it, yeah, he's doing it in a nice. By the way, I didn't know you could write this nicely. Way to go. Sloan State runs the race. Hey guys, quick update. Uh, you guys saw this morning I had on a shirt that I wasn't sure about. As you can see, I didn't wear it today. But that one looks super nice on you. I do like this one. A lot. It looks really good. At the beginning, James was cutting wood, and an old man came with a bag of seeds and gave the seeds to James. James was walking and drop the seeds then the peach tree started to grow hello can you guys see us? hello can you hear me now <laughs> is this thing on hello <laughs> Epic day today. Mom told me that the chores went better than could have been imagined. Do you know what? I was working and I just heard dishes clanking and I was like, oh, they read the chore chart before I even got to explain it to them and they already started. That is amazing. I was honestly surprised. I don't want to say that I had low expectations, but I did not expect it to go that well. Like Ryan I thought it'd be like, kicking and screaming like, and fighting. and so <laughs> excited and I'm just like, why can't you be this excited whenever when I got it's not home, written down on a paper? He came running out into the garage. I get to do chores. I get to do chores. I'm like, what? It's amazing. I don't get it. Guys, this is day one though. We know there will be ups and downs. We know it won't, won't always be like this. It won't always be exciting. They're going to want to go out and play with friends and not yeah. complete their chores. But what I love is that you're establishing the routine. And if Trying. we can get that in practice and we can push it for the hardest part. more than one day, more than a week, and just get it to where it's like, I just know it's Thursday. I do this. Yeah. That's what we're trying to get to. I've, do you know what? For like 10 years, I've been trying to do this. <laughs> Behavior chart. Another genius idea, because it's more than the chores, it's also the obedience, staying on task. It's broke down into three days, because sometimes if they're bad in like the middle of the day, but they were great the rest of the day, I feel bad, like the whole day's just a loss. So three parts of the so day. So they have, yeah, so they have yeah. opportunities at different times in the day, and then like, I kind of thought about like if they're good and they do like, hey, I'm gonna clean the toy room, you can earn back a check mark or something, I don't know. We're still gonna play with it. Any suggestions, yeah. we're open to. I would tiptoe with that one because these guys are masters at thinking that they can earn anything back with oh one gosh. little good deed. And do you know who's the master at giving it back for no good reason? <laughs> He's sitting next to me. That's like the end of the couch. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. But I, I love this because this will help me too because I've got something in people that I can look at and say, hey, have you guys done this? I should make a chore chart for Brandon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all the time we have for today's vlog. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> but speaking of all the time we have, mom went and picked up fan mail today and we did not get a chance to open that in the vlog, so stick around for tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be opening that fan mail. Can't wait to see what it is. We love it when we get those fun things from you, you guys. You guys are so awesome. We have the best Thank family so on much. all the internet and now we're not talking about us, we're talking about you guys. You. We love you. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging with us. Can't wait to see how these chores work out. Huge shout out to mom for taking the time and thought to put that together, we'll build the see. chart, print it, laminate it, and then now the real work begins keeping them doing it. This is when like dads get the Can easy gig. They just go off to program an office. For myself? Yeah, you've got the hard gig. So good luck with that. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. You guys are the best. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. We'll see ya. Bye bye. Bye.